What's behind the UK media super injunction? Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you everyone for liking and subscribing and hi to um, my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. I've got the mystical medleys on the table and I am reading about super injunctions. Um, I this started with uh, Thomas Markle was seen as Thomas Markle Jr. Uh, showing something with uh, some Australian friend called Barbecue um, about a super injunction, and I also got a couple of subscribers asking me about it and embargoes and anything else that the British Royal Family has. Um, embargoes are a temporary thing and I think um, it's an unwritten uh, law since princess die in UK uh, that the tip you know it, it's temporary but there's an embargo um, however super injunctions are a completely different thing and it's only enforceable in the UK and uh, Wales it's um, it's not enforceable entertainment purposes only it's not enforceable in any other nation so this has got my spidey senses tingling because something then came across on my news feed which I did put in the uh, community that was dated um not too sure now i don't have it on me in 2021 and tmc entertainment purposes only was pursuing the surrogan and the surrogan d uh nda or the surrogan was uh, going to breach the nda and we are talking about the gruesome twosome now that date was 2021 the girl entertainment purposes only was born in 2021 and the fact that she was born in america and the fact that tmz is in america has got nothing to do with the super injunction so my question is the super injunction in uk is it about the bump and i will say bump um or is it about the um, the bullying, in-house bullying? Because uh, listening to uh, Lady C, uh, she actually said that um, it all came out around the same time and there were reports, there were definitely reports and then it was hushed up. So cards, is it a super injunction? On behalf of Harry and Megan, because super injunctions can be indefinitely. And if there is, what is it? What is it? What is it? Was it the bump? Or, 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 or was it in house bullying? And we're talking about the palace. And the reason why I'm giving two options is because entertainment purposes only it all came out about the same time and as one reporter said and another one actually um something slipped something slipped of course it was archie's birth date but yeah so just to quickly let you know about super injunctions not only do they stop the freedom of speech like they they mute you everything's censored you can't report about them you can't show pictures about them you can't have anything to do with whatever it is now it's not a broad thing you must you must say what it is um only the rich and famous can do injunctions super injunctions are generally indefinitely and it's um because they're scared that it's going to hit their reputation because they will be on the front page and when it comes to super the word super added to it it means that the reporters or the media because it was all based around the media 
cannot even say that there's a super injunction. They can't even say that there's a super injunction out. Now, it's very hard to get out of a super injunction once the, the judge has granted it, but I have a feeling it's about the bump. And we're talking Archie's bump here, not Lily's, because it's in the UK. Um, I have a feeling we're talking about the bump. And the reason why is because to get out of to get out of it or to make the super injunction um, revealed, so to speak, it actually does say when the applicant volunteers the information. This means a super injunction is revealed by the person who sought to hide the information in the first place. Now, Harry has already revealed in spare about how, you know, the bullying was there, how the staff was there, and they were all crying at the desk. Harry's already revealed that. But there's nothing, nothing about the bump. Now think about Archie's bump. Now, they have won the, the royal family, if they want to stop the super injunction or someone wants to stop the super injunction, there is one out and it's parliamentary privilege. And it says, due to the nature of our justice situation, we're talking about the English law, MPs are not bound by injunctions, so therefore do not face contempt charges as restricting speech would hinder democracy. I'll let that sink in. So the MPs are complicit or compliant, one or the other. UK MPs are compliant. Just maybe, just maybe an MP will leak it out. Just maybe. Right, super injunction. Super injunction. UK, Harry and Meghan. Right, Queen of Pentacles. It was actually in place, it was in place when our Queen was alive. This is our late queen here, our late queen card. It's definitely bad luck, bad fortune, um, bad karma even. Two of Wands reverse. Six of Wands and the lovers. Well, it's definitely verifying that you've got the lovers involved here. And it's a non-event it's a non-event. That's what they're playing it down as a non-event. There's no decision. There's no decision at the moment for anything to happen. Because of all the bad luck and bad fortune and bad publicity and bad karma. Our light cream worked very, very hard to try and keep everything above board. And there is lots and lots of money involved in super junctions. Um, when a super junction happens, just to let you know, it means that something did happen. Okay. The person that who wants a super injunction out on the media, because it is all media based, needs to have a lawyer at the drop of the hat. And it costs, um, you're well, starting from 200000 um, pounds, you know, 200,000 um, sterling. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Charles actually also knows about it because he did get one out in Australia back in the uh, uh, 80s when someone tapped his phone call to the Queen and um, Princess Di. So, Charles is aware of it and they're deliriously happy about this super injunction. The lovers seem to think that they're getting away, they're getting away with it. The Empress, 
the Six of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. So it was about her. It was definitely about this one's wife, because here she is here now, wanting to move into calmer waters. Definitely lopsided, unfair even, unbalanced. And you've also got the Empress here being reversed. Um, I have a horrible, horrible feeling, and I might do a reading about it. I'll, I'll just wait and see. I have a horrible feeling that um, she's looking into the future to be queen. It's such hard work to be queen, such hard work. This is nothing to do with Catherine. The super injunction is nothing to do with Catherine at all, at all. You've got the late queen here and... Yeah, something that, um, oh, ho, 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 ho. let me just back up a bit here. The Empress is also a pregnancy card. And when it's reversed, well, when it's upright, it means you're pregnant, right? Let's just go with that, entertainment purposes only. I still might do that reading anyway because I'm pretty sure that Harry said that. I've, I've got to go back and check. But it's um, the Empress's uh, confirmation of pregnancy as well with all the abundance and growth. And when it's reverse, it's like didn't happen. <laughs> okay, so we've already worked out that it's definitely about her. Um, three of Pentacles reverse, King of Wands reverse. Knight of Wands reverse, the Four of Swords, uh, Knight of Wands upright, the Four of Swords reverse, and the Four of Pentacles reverse. So something's actually being spilled. Something there's there's a lot of money. Um, to keep it going indefinitely, I'm pretty sure that they've got to still fund something. It's not like you just pay £200,000 sterling over and, you know, Bob's your uncle for the rest of your life. I, I, I doubt very, very much. I think they're going to have to keep it going and going and it's a very, very expensive thing to keep going. Um, it actually does need to, to expire or, you know, like I said, because there was money here as well working on it, um, just maybe, just maybe the money's run out, you know, the golden goose is cooked kind of thing, and um, maybe that expiry um, is correct. There's a, a due date, you know, entertainment purposes only, just putting it out there, that there's more money required because... Um, they're not working. They're, they're not working on it. There's no plan. There's no plan here with the King of Wands as well. This is uh, MI6. This is MI, MI5, MI6. Um, this is my MI6 card. Yeah. Because he's your traveler next to it. Now, this, this is definitely Harry because he is a traveler. He does have his energy on this card. And I'm a firm believer that he wants to wants to stop it. He wants to end it. But this one, this one's wife. Yeah, she's not working. She's not working nicely at all. She's not working nicely at all. So it may be true what this barbecue person said. It may be true that not that it expires. I'm getting it's money motivated. Because you've also got money here as well. Because usually when you have a super injunction, you can have it indefinitely, but nine times out of ten, there is um, like when a trial's, you know, over and done and, and whatever party has, you know, been found guilty or not guilty or whatever. Um, unfortunately, it's... The, in the hands of the rich and famous now that actually can 
only afford it and I guess you could say they're exploiting it for what it was actually for um, because, sure, they do, you know, they do hit the front page, they, especially for something like this. This would be worldwide news. And, you know, it, it doesn't matter. It really does not matter. So why the charade, you know, especially with the Emperor's Reverse? Why the charade? Entertainment purposes only. Mm. One more time. Page of Cups again. No pregnancy. No pregnancy. The world to end. Death to transition. Tower. With the Ace of Cups. Yeah, they need to start. They need to start a new beginning. They need to come clean. Definitely need to come clean. They need to need to stop it. I mean, people are now starting to report it. Um, maybe someone's looked into the legality of it and have has now realised that, you know, it's only good faith that UK, um, sorry, good faith that um, TMZ pulled it down entertainment purposes only i do believe that happened i do believe it even though it's only gossip or whatever i do actually believe it um because they did exactly the same thing and i have receipts for that when they were doing the where's kate one and it was going to come out on all um i think the same day that Catherine actually announced that she had cancer I'm pretty sure because it was already pre-recorded and they were advertising it. Now, they pulled that. They pulled that very, very fast and there's no track on it anywhere unless there's people like us that actually saw it because I was going to watch it. Um, so that's how come I knew about it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do believe, I do believe that that was about Lily because of the date and there is no super injunction on that because it's irrelevant it's irrelevant in usa it's absolutely irrelevant but in the uk it definitely shows it's all about her the only thing i'm getting with harry is the nine of wands is a traveler mm. no pregnancy Nasty surprise, no pregnancy. So what? Seriously, so what? Why the charade? Why the charade? So what? Kudos. You know, a, a modern family uses a surrogate. You know, it's no big deal. But it is if you want to be on the line of succession. And on that note... Let me know your thoughts. But, yeah, according to the cards, um, yeah, the lovers, it's definitely about the lovers. The queen knew about it. The king knew about it. Well, obviously, um, at the time of Archie's alleged birth that no one knows because all the dates were different anyway, and Kensington Palace did release that statement that they were hacked afterwards and that was taken down um yeah charles was um more and more you know in line um we were doing a lot of work because you know prince philip wasn't doing too well so yeah yeah just it's icky stuff but it's it's i just don't see any reason why i don't see any reason whatsoever why you know it had to be a charade. <sighs> okay. On that night, smudging time again. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye.